Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Neon. This is gaming news, views, commentary, and uh, we're going to talk about Starfield on Steam. It's sales, how it's doing right now. It looks like the sales are, are tumbling. Now, the game is sold very, very well. You know, there's, there's no denying that. The Starfield is an incredibly uh, good selling game. It's a huge hit for Microsoft, right? For Bethesda. We're going to talk about it, though, because it seems like the luster is kind of worn off. And uh, a lot of people, when they're talking game of the year, they're not talking about Starfield. They're talking about Baldur's Gate 3 or even Super Mario Wonder uh, and not Starfield. It kind of came and went. And the weird thing about this is all Starfield has done for me personally is reignite my desire to play No Man's Sky which I think I'm going to be playing on the channel here because it's a totally different game now than it was in 2016. Very, very polished compared to what it was and pretty much what I expected Starfield to be, but it isn't. And uh, we'll talk about all this. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, give us a sub. We cover gaming news. We do gameplay videos. I'm open to suggestions, which you'd like to see us play. Uh, Starfield is not... One, I have any desire to play, personally. I've seen some of it. Uh, I just, I'm not into it, guys. I'm just, I'm not really into it. So, first we have to to back this up um, here and point out that Starfield has been an incredibly, uh, incredibly high-selling game. You know, despite the criticism, Starfield topped the sales chart in the U.S. A lot of people said Starfield was kind of limiting. And then, of course, there was the, uh, the pronouns debacle which turned a lot of people off to the game. But it still, it still did very, very well. You know, Starfield hit 10 million players in less than three weeks, according to IGN, um, since it came out on September 1st and paid early access for them. They've got 10 million players and uh, it's, it's doing well. Now, a lot of outlets, though, are asking how it's doing a month after release. This is Forbes. It's been just over a month since Starfield was released, more than that. And if we're counting paid early access to the game, uh, right? Uh, this is Paul Tassi, by the way, from Forbes. He said, I've seen a lot of talk about how the game has been left by the wayside, buried under high quality releases in this unprecedented year. This year has been incredibly good for games. I don't care where you're at with video games. Like this year has been crazy uh, in terms of amazing releases. Even as a harsh Xbox critic, I would say that this is living a bit in a bit of a bubble. Starfield does indeed seem to be continually performing well, even after launch. And uh, even being a single player game that yes, does have a pretty clear endpoint. Uh, it's the most played game on Xbox right now as of last month. And it's ahead of games like, oh, it's behind Fortnite and Call of Duty, but ahead of Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, NBA 2K24, Roblox, Minecraft, Madden, etc., etc. That's Xbox, and Starfield is a high-profile release on Xbox Game Pass, but even turning towards Steam, where people did, in fact, have to buy copies of the game, Starfield is still routinely putting up 100,000 concurrent players nightly. Now, this was a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so let's, let's fast-forward to this uh, article, which is a little bit newer. PC games. Starfield Steam sales are tumbling as buyers flock to Fallout 76. Fallout 76? Really? Starfield Steam sales are down as both Elder Scrolls Online and Fallout 76 see a sudden surge in popularity. Starfield sales uh, seem to be down. Okay. Uh, as the latest Bethesda RPG drops a number of places on Valve's store just over a month since launch. At the same time, two other games from the Skyrim creator Elder Scrolls Online and the once troubled Fallout 76 makes significant gains on the latest Steam chart, jumping in popularity both globally and in the US. Specifically, Baldur's Gate 3, meanwhile, manages to remain the top in the Steam top 10 after launching in August. Let's see where we're at right now. Okay, so we've got some free to play games here. So we've got uh, Counter Strike 2, um, Call of Duty, War Thunder, Baldur's Gate, okay, Steam Deck, yeah, we don't count that. Ark Survival Ascended. Lethal Company, Skylines 2, Football, man, we're like, wait, Robocop, Rogue City, yes, Cyberpunk. Where, where is the game? I don't see it. Lost Ark, Warframe. Okay, 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 Elder Scrolls Online, okay, Party Animals, Starfield, Starfield's number 38? They'll beat out Resident Evil 4 and Ratchet and Clank, but it's, it's, Number 38, it's number 38 on the charts. 
on Steam. Now that's on Steam. Again, you know, Xbox is mostly what we're talking about. Mixed reviews, recent. Uh, wow, that's kind of crazy. I didn't expect it to drop off that much. I mean, we're talking 38th place behind. I mean, there are a lot of free to play games here. And I know Ark is kind of a big thing right now. If you can get it to work. Robocop, I definitely want. Um, but that's crazy. My time at Sandrock. What is this? It's basically Harvest Moon. Uh, Lost Ark. Yeah, so it's getting its butt kicked on Steam. Oh, well, there we go, guys. It's getting its butt kicked on Steam. Yeah, the Steam sales uh, figure only reflect a part of its player base. Indeed, it enjoyed a bigger launch in terms of player numbers than any other Bethesda game in history with the studio since announcing that Starfield has so far accrued more than 10 million users. Nevertheless, Starfield is down uh, 31 places on Valve storefront this week. It's down to 38 now. This is two weeks ago. Compared against the same global chart from last week, it puts the space game at number 50 on the worldwide Steam uh, top sellers chart behind other RPGs, uh, Baldur's Gate 3, Elder Scroll Online, etc., etc. Uh, these changes are the US only chart. Starfield is down 19 places, number 34. Yeah, so I don't know, guys. Maybe people are, people are over it already. I mean, this game has been divisive, but... I only heard people talking about it for like the first two weeks it was out. I'm going to be honest. I've heard more people talk about Baldur's Gate. I've heard more people uh, talk about Cyberpunk. I've heard more people talk about Cyberpunk this year, which has finally fixed it, its, its mess. It's cleaned up its mess than I have Starfield. So that's really interesting. Another game that's um, getting props now is, is No Man's Sky, which is finally the game it was promised to be in 2016. It just took them a long time to get there, but it actually is a very, very, very good game right now. And when you play this next to Starfield, you put it next to Starfield, it, it, it's like, it's th this, this, this is what I want from a space exploration game. And uh, I know, you know, Bethesda games have a lot of fans, but I've never been a huge Bethesda fan. I played some Skyrim and it's like, yeah, it's okay. It's all right. People are like, oh, what do you mean? It's just okay. I'm like, no, it's, it's okay. It's all right, but it's not my go-to. I, I know they've had like 40,000 different versions of Skyrim, but like, it's, it's definitely not a go-to uh, game for me. I don't really care. I played some of it once. I'm like, yeah, you can do some fun stuff, but there's literally dozens and dozens of other PC RPGs I'd rather play than Skyrim. But uh, yeah, so there we go, guys. It's it's like dropping off a cliff. Now, uh, again, this does seem to be kind of the flagship title of the Xbox right now, which I keep forgetting exists. I mean, we literally have everything but an Xbox. Like we got Switch, we got PS5, we got PS4 Pro, we got uh, all kinds of consoles, and I, I do not have a current generation Xbox. The last Xbox I bought was the 360, which I loved. The Xbox 360 was one of my favorite game consoles of all time, but uh, I, I didn't buy one, and I did not buy the series uh, system. Because I don't see a point. It's basically just a budget budget cut PC, right? A budget cut gaming PC. Can I say that? Can I say the uh, current generation of Xbox is just a, a budget cut gaming PC? I said it. I, I said it because like everything on Xbox, you can buy it for PC and it runs better. Anyway, um, I am going to wrap this up. Uh, I think that's pretty interesting to see all this fuss in this. Uh, this game has kind of dropped off, at least on Steam. Now, it's got fans and it's a Bethesda title, so it's going to sell for years and years and years and years. And we don't know where it's going to wind up at. But apparently they made like a billion dollars on it already. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more gaming news and gameplay videos, and we'll talk later. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster and eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. 
Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. You can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>